old stove paper. We have matches. We have a cardboard box. And we have ice water. And it's approximately 33 degrees. These are very important elements for what we're getting ready to do now. I right, chop you up some arm sized pieces of wood. Then you come in here. Light your fire. I like to light it at both ends. And then the water is very important. The water is very important it's for me after chopping off all that wood. Now at this stage of the game, you always leave your pit completely wide open. We got a nice fire. Open whatever contraption you got. When the fire reaches above the lip of your firebox, it's time to close it. About like that. Okay. All right, when you got a fire like that, it's time to put some other pieces of wood on there and really stock up your hardwood coals. The next thing you're to do in a minute or so is close all these doors. Everything except the front two, or rather the ones nearest the smokestacks. This is on a reverse smoker. The smoke is coming from out there and coming here before it hits the stacks. Make sure everything's open. Go ahead and sh shut your door about that much. Maybe a little bit more. Sometimes actually, to tell you the truth. Shut your door just where it's cracked open. All right, we're doing pretty good. Next step is I want to close the door. I want to close the pit doors. My temperature is 200 as we speak. And on a pit like this, getting the draft going before you put your meat on is crucial. Because if you put cold meat on when your pit's not thoroughly heated up, you're asking for trouble. It will take hours to put it in and that. Because you're heating up all the metal mass, plus you're heating up the meat. In some cases, you'll have a convection flow over the meat as the meat supplies its own little cool envelope around it and nothing will get done for a few hours. Also an excellent time to go ahead and wash off your pit, get bird droppings off of it, maybe even oil the pit while maybe someone's dressing up your meat or if you've done it last night good time to oil your pit. When you oil your pit and wash it down, anything gets on it, it doesn't stick. Easier to clean up. 